Hi everyone, this is Jamaluddin Jami, a career counselor, public speaker, and corporate trainer. I would like to have the pleasure to welcome you all to my show, Your Career and Life. Today we are going to talk about your career progress. Have you ever thought about uh, why are most people stuck in their careers and lives? Let me share why I was stuck in my career and life. I was confused and lost. I was not having a purpose of my life, made mistakes and failing a lot. What I did not know is it is perfectly okay if you are confused. It is perfectly okay if you feel that you are stuck. It is perfectly okay if you have, I mean, if you have lost your way. It is perfectly okay if you don't know what the purpose of your life is. It is perfectly okay if you don't know the future sometimes. It is perfectly okay if you have failed miserably. It is perfectly okay if you have made, if you have made a big mistakes in your career journey. But you now do something about it. What happened in the past? Past is past. Focus on the future. Start doing something new about it. Take action. ACT, act and make a difference. MAD, mad to your life. Just move from thinking to doing. You are planning a lot of things, but execution was not there. So move from there and start doing right now, today, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. What's the plan you do have in your mind? Start executing. The easy way to remember is act mad. Take action and make a difference. Mad, M-A-D, mad. Another reason uh, why I was stuck, and I call it sometimes a Masiha syndrome. What is that? A Masiha is someone who will come, help us solve all our problems. Sometimes I think that someone, one day someone will come and invest money to my business. Sometimes I, 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 I imagine that one day someone will come and offer me a good job. No, it doesn't. No Masih in this world. So why I wanted a Masih badly? Because of some points. And I'm going to share the points you might have inside you. Number one, character. Because we need a strong character in our life who will push ourselves to succeed. And it comes from a strong character. And I lacked that character. Most of us lacked that char character in life. So I externalized my need for help. I waited for Masiha to come to push me to start. That Masiha did not come and I failed. It might happen to you. So what's the takeaway? Don't wait for Masiha in your life, there is no Masiha. You have to take your own responsibility to move, move ahead. So take absolute personal responsibility from now on and start doing. Don't wait for anyone. Number two, entitlement mindset. What is that? We think someone has to help us out and uh, that we are entitled to it. That might be my father by giving a seed money to start a business. That could be my elder brother. That could be my sister, sister's husband. That could be my uncle, whoever it is. Government, minister, MP. Forget everything. Have a fresh mindset that you start from your own. So if you need investment, earn it. How can you earn? Do workshop, learn it, how to earn investment. If you need a job, earn it. Don't wait for someone. Earn it. Be skilled. Be competent. Earn your job. Then you will see that mindset you need to fix first. 
Number three, motivation. We are looking for external motivation. A lot of motivational speakers out there. I respect them. And truly speaking, that motivation only will work if you can internalize it. So don't fall external motivate, motivational speaker in your life. Rather, you can take the story, you can take that emotional click in your life, but you need to internalize it. So a true motivation will work if you can internalize it. If your motivation comes from inside you, then it will work. That motivation will not let you sleep. If a wedding, if you're wasting your time, that motivation will not make you waste your time. In the middle of the night, that motivation will tell you. Somebody is studying, so start doing. Start reading, wake up. If you are or your entrepreneurship journey, that motivation will tell you, hey, come on, stupid. You're wasting your time. Don't do that. These people, these people, these people are going and moving ahead. Still, you're wasting your time with procrastination. Don't do that. Start, start from a basic thing, no problem. If you are preparing for job, your motivation will tell you, do this course, take part in this training program, build your networking with these people, have a LinkedIn account and start networking, explore the market. Don't wait for someone that someone will give you as big, don't big job, rather earn it, achieve it. Once you have that true motivation, that will work, that will help you. Number four, getting it easy mindset. Success is a lot of I mean, success uh, actually comes after a lot of hard work. It doesn't uh, come so easily. If you read the success story of a success of successful people, you will see that they had that, I mean, long, hard story of getting that success. We are not ready for this sacrifice until and unless you are not ready for that sacrifice your success will not come. We want someone to give it to us easily. But in reality, it doesn't. You might say one, I mean, you're a prince, you, you might be thinking that one day you'll be marrying someone and father will have a lot of money and will start your, I mean, that king life. No, in reality, it doesn't happen. You have to earn your own thing. So you have to get out of this easy mindset. Number five, victim mindset. What is that? We don't take responsibility or action since we are afraid of failure. Don't do that. Failures are the pillars of success. Don't take them as failures rather take them as your lessons that you will not be repeating the same mistakes same failure things in future take the responsibility absolute personal responsibility of your each action and rectify what i mean where was that mistake so in future you are not repeating that mistake through this process you'll be building your I mean, wall, break by break, break by break, one by one. So you must have a winning mindset, not victim mindset. You must have that mentality, mindset to accept your failure. Number seven, blaming mindset. <laughs> if things do not work out, what do we do? We can easily blame that Masiha or somebody else or our luck, or environment. So forget about that blaming mindset. You need to have that mindset to forecast thing. What can happen? What can happen? If you have that winning mindset, so you will not blame anyone for your life, for your deed, for, for, the, for the result. Whatever it is, that doesn't matter. I don't know what you are planning for the future. Whatever it, whatever it is. So stop blaming others. Start taking responsibility. Keep that sentence, phrase in your mind. Absolute personal responsibility. APR. Okay? 
excuse number eight the last excuse mindset we love excuses i did not have a good family background so it's not possible for me to start business because uh, no one in my i mean 14 ancestors no one was in business it's not possible for me we do have that mindset i'm a i'm i'm from a very uh, I mean, a poor family background. So no one was educated from there. It's not possible for me to get educated and, and win the business world. Conditioning, not having money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's, I mean, justifies our failures. We are waiting for that Masiha. It took me a long time actually to realize no Masiha will arrive to help me out. The sooner you get to know, you realize that there will be no Masiha to help you out for your business, for your career, for your life. The better you will be, with, I mean, have a startup to start your journey. So I have finally realized there is no Masiha in my life. I am my own Masiha. If you want to become winner, if you uh, do not want to put yourself in the line of failures, start thinking that you are your own Masiha. I tried and I got it. Are you also looking for a Masiha? Where you were stuck, I believe you will stop these things. Rather, you will be taking absolute personal responsibility to move ahead. Thank you very much. We'll see you in next episode. Another day. Bye-bye.